everybody it's Tiffany from Tiffany's Lock Jewels welcome back to my channel um, I am here today just to show you um, my cut um, I still have <coughs> I'm still enjoying my cut um, as you can see um, I have this you know hair here which is a lot thicker I didn't take this down yet because I wanted to you guys to see um, how thick my hair was so you could see um, when I talked about changing my lock pattern this is all um, from palm rolling so you could see how thick it is um, I really 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 love it um, the cut like I said is I'm loving the cut so I'm gonna take this down so you can see how it looks and uh, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I took my hair down and you can see how the cut looks. Um, it's, right now, it's a lot looser of um, a curl because it's been about a week since I did it. Um, this time I did um, Bantu knots. So I had probably 20 or so, I don't know how many, um, Definitely more than 10, like 15 or, I don't know. Next time I'll have to take a picture. But there was tons of Bantu knots over my um, over my head. And I think I had about five or six or seven locks per Bantu knot. And when I took it down, um, it, I, went, I left them in overnight. I left them in overnight until the next evening. So it was like 24 hours. And I did use the blow dryer, especially to get to my roots, but I, of course I just used it for five minutes or less. Um, and it was a little, it looked, it was a tighter curl. Like it wasn't as, as nice as, um, it wasn't as nice as the braid out, the, the big braid out, the way that looked. That's my favorite and that's what I'll do next, you know, again. Um, next time, I mean, I do my hair. Um, this one is like I like it more after several days so it's been a week and I like it more now is what I'm saying so I love the softness of the curls though so, I mean the way the the volume and the way it just accentuates the cut you know it's like so much better now than than it was when I first just took it down um, but just so you guys can see so back like this you can see this side here <clears throat> and then you can see my video you'll be able to see the video like how i did it how i cut it and everything and um this is called a lock lob and so i just put that and that's what the name of it is a lock lob so it's a long bob as you can see and I can wear it up you know in a ponytail I can wear it in like a, a top notch you know like a bun a lock bun I mean all of it um, I am debating on just going ahead and getting the blonde um, highlights again the biolage ombre the biolage um, I just think that I just need to make just to maintain that look um, it will take way too long for me to grow out the blonde and I don't want to put black bleach in it because like I said if I decide to lighten it up later I'm gonna be dealing with the you know the dark the dark ends and the different range of colors because of the darkness that I put you know the dark dye but I do love the idea of just having my own natural color like I really 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 want that look but I know it will take like it will take four years before I can get to that look. I mean, literally four years. And I refuse to put black dye in my hair because I, when I did it before, I love the look, nothing wrong with it. I loved it. It's just that I know how I am and I'm gonna wanna lighten up again, lighten to the brown, you know, maybe a little bit of red, then lighten from the brown to more blonde and then I go blonde again. And I, I mean, that's just, what I do you know so and I'm gonna have to deal with the fact that I put the black 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 dye in it and just 
oh, it will be not fun. And I'll be like, I knew I shouldn't have done this. I knew I shouldn't have done this. That's what I'll be telling myself. So, um, so I am just going to go back to my colorist and have her um, do my roots. Um, but of course I like the contrast. So I definitely want to keep the dark in there, you know? And that's the thing about Biolage that's so nice is that um, you don't have to, you know, have your whole head one color. You know, you have the dis the, the depth and the um, distinctions in color, you know, the, the just the different dimensions. That's the word I'm looking for, dimensions. And so um, I am, just loving my locks. I love this lock journey. Um, I will do a photo shoot with this hair um, sometime soon and I will definitely let you guys know about it. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. My fall collection is coming out soon and I also have a special surprise for you guys. Um, it has nothing to do with jewelry. Um, it has nothing to do with my hair products, um, but I have a surprise for you guys, so just stay tuned. Um, I do have a new um, scent out for the season. It is called Lemongrass, I mean it's called Infinity. And it's Lemongrass, Watermelon, and Lemon Sugar. It's called Infinity. And what I'm doing is I'm phasing out um, some um, scents that aren't selling as well and just keeping all the best sellers in. Um, the best sellers are Divine, Let Go, um, Oasis, Glory, um, Sacred, um, hmm, what else? Um, Jubilee, Muse, those are the ones that are selling really well. Um, Tranquility, that's the best one for your hair. If you're having hair problems, scalp problems, I recommend Tranquility because that has uh, the rosemary and the peppermint in it. Um, and that is just, like fantastic for any problems. Plus it smells really good. Um, but this one is gonna be really nice. It's a great lemongrass scent. This is primarily, you know, lemongrass with the watermelon, but some of the other ones that I've had have had water or lemongrass in them, but that's not the dominant scent. That's not like the number one, you know, like the Pursuit, um, that's a bestseller, but that's like the jasmine and the lemongrass with the rosemary and the, you know, cedarwood and sandalwood and everything, which is great, but I wanted a scent that was just mainly lemongrass alone. And if you're looking for something with just the lemongrass scent, I would say get this one and I don't know if I'm going to keep this for a while um, like for the it's definitely gonna be around for the next six months but I don't know if this is gonna be a seasonal one or I'm gonna keep it for sure as a staple um, so if you see some of yours um, you know fragrances that have are discontinued they're discontinued because they have not sold as well as others and it's when people come to my site and they purchase they're purchasing certain ones over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and the other ones are just they're not selling like they're selling here and there but they're not selling as much for me to say you know what i need to just keep this like you know so the ones that aren't selling as well they will have to go but if you guys are asking me, like people have been asking me about Ambrosia, I've get, gotten several emails about Ambrosia. So I think that's the one with the gardenia in it. It's a floral scent, uh, a floral fragrance. I'm probably gonna bring that back um, for like a month or two, um, maybe through the holidays. So be looking for that. Um, I will see how that goes. But the plan is to um, have some of them on rotation and some of them will be staples. So there's just too many scents and you guys order quite a bit of product, which I'm so thankful for that. Thank you so much for supporting my business. Um, but I want to be able to get everything out faster. And the only way I can do that is to decrease the amount of scents that I'm that I have for everyone to you know to make. And I have an assistant that helps me and everything. And it's just a lot of work. So. Anyways, 
that's it. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you're interested in wholesale, please click the link for wholesale. My website again address is right here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.